My name is Dominic Geely and I'm here to talk about uh, innovations in aqua fitness. I'm passionate about aqua fitness and I'm always looking for ways to come up with new ideas and presenting different styles of aqua fitness in shallow and deep. Today I'm going to talk about a few things. Uh, firstly, the use of music and interval training. We, um, we all know that there's lots of research out there. Um, it's well documented that, that the benefits of music um, with fitness and interval training is also well documented. But using um, interval music within a class, like formatted music, is always a great way to motivate participants, make sure that they're achieving their results, so it, whether that be getting stronger, burning calories, making sure they're reducing their um, insulin within the blood, um, making their heart more efficient, all those different reasons. So um, formatted music, there's a, there's a website that you can access called SimpleQ. If you Google SimpleQ or Gymstick Music Online, you'll be able to access that music. Um, I s encourage you to check it out because um, I've already seen the positive effects it's having on my class. I'm getting rave reviews whenever I use that music. Um, there's one tool, there's, there's equipment that I'm going to introduce today. Some of it you know about, some you may never have heard before. So the one tool that you will know about is the dumbbell, but what I do um, on a lot of occasions is using one dumbbell only. So some, so of, you some of you would have done that. This might be a nice reminder to continue to do it. So by having flotation on one side of the body in the water, um, creates an imbalance. So we need to use our core, everything starts from the center, we need to use our core to stabilize and keep the body and the spine in neutral alignment. So for using one dumbbell for rock and roll action or cross country, anything that's suspended, suspended will increase the workout. It's an asymmetrical workout, so when you're suspended, you don't have the floor to stabilize, you're gonna use your core. So the more force through the water, the more you'll get a core workout. Another innovative way of using the traditional, so a very traditional form of equipment for aqua fitness is a noodle, but by cutting the noodle in half, what you're doing is making um, a real functional a piece of equipment that doesn't have the ends that take people out and get really uncomfortable. So by working forwards, backwards, kicking out, working behind the body, you can work as well as using the longer noodle, but then some of the exercises, for example, using rock and roll, in fact, make it more difficult because the longer the noodle, the more stable you are. The shorter the noodle, the more the core has to switch on. So you still get that sense of buoyancy and the body feels supported, but you are only getting half the buoyancy, so you have to work harder to stay up in the water. Last piece is gym stick. So if any of you have seen the gym stick before, you know it's a graphite pole with two resistance bands at the end. They wrap around your feet, just like this. And what happens is, as, as well as getting a resistance workout by using the water as resistance, you get the bands. So you just roll it up and down for increased resistance or unroll for less resistance. And you can do all sorts of exercises. So arm raises, shoulder press, pushing up and down. You can kick out. So it can be very dynamic as you push across the body. But so your, your core is being challenged because it's less stable. As I push this across, this band gets longer. So one side of my body is more challenged. So there's lots of different ways you can be innovative in the water. You just need to think about it. Or Always keep your eyes out for new pieces of equipment and don't be, don't be afraid to try it out.